Hey everyone, I am making a microbiome mash this morning and along with the video you'll see a lot more information as to what that actually means. Um, and in, in short, what it means is that it helps to feed your microbiome with all different kinds of foods and a different variety of foods every single day. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of things here on my counter, and I will share even more um, in just a second. But um, as, as well as I try to do consuming different fruits and vegetables, I'm a real creature of habit, um, both from a cooking and work perspective, but also from an eating perspective. And so it's easier for me to make this microbiome mash to get all of my um, nice veggies in and fruits as well. Um, so foods, let's just say foods, right? So um, it's easier for me to get them in this way than it is to try and plan and prepare and in some cases choke down certain things that I would really not want to be eating or tasting. So this is pile number one. This is pile number two right here and it kind of ends with the power greens but the power greens are going to serve a double purpose and then this is pile number three so you can see that in each of these piles i've just got a whole variety i've got some berries i've got um, some root vegetables i've got mushrooms i've got um brassica vegetables, I've got leafy vegetables, I've got some um, sunflower shoots. And basically what I did was I went to Willie Street Co-op and to Woodman's, two stores that are uh, close to my, not Woodman's, sorry, Willie Street Co-op and Costco, and um, just basically grabbed about 25 to 30 different things. And I didn't do it with any kind of planning or rhyme or reason. I just grabbed. Um, well, I guess I take that back. I did want to make sure that I got a variety of root vegetables, leafy greens, fruits, and also the brassica family and mushrooms as well. And what was really cool was that um, Costco had this variety pack of mushrooms, which was perfect for this because I was able to literally separate three different types of mushrooms from the one package and it's just enough. So what I plan on doing is using two different kitchen tools. I plan on using my food processor and then also my, excuse the quick movement, my Vitamix. And I'm going to see which one works better and I'll report back to you after I start getting this done. I haven't done this before, but it's something that I've been learning in the um, course that I've been taking. And yeah, I'll let you know uh, which, which one I prefer shortly. Okay, so I have washed most of the things, but I just want to, um, family's coming home, so I want to finish this up a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is put them into the blender, and then I'm going to put them back in the mixing bowl, and I'm going to mix them all together, and then for each pile, so this is just the first pile, so for each pile, what I'll do is I will, doesn't that look pretty? Um, for each pile, what I'll do is I'll put it into a bag, and label this pile number one and that bag number one and then put it in the freezer and then every single day for my smoothie what I'll do is I'll take about one to two tablespoons of this frozen mash and you can just kind of like you know pinch off a corner in the freezer and put it into my smoothie and that will give my little gut um, microbiome super happy things to feed on and all different kinds of things to feed on and this will last about three months and so you can do this kind of from a seasonal perspective so um, I did try and also get more seasonal veggies but obviously in the winter time in Wisconsin I wouldn't have any of this nice stuff so um, anyway I'll come back and um, give you some more pictures and things like that and I hope that you enjoy uh, your microbiome mash.